Altitude CI is a brand new product from Trinov. Our products are so powerful, we control the recipe from ground up. You emphasize on Trino processor. Yeah. So what do you think makes Trino one of the most aspirational home cinema brands? We do things differently. You're the product head or? So my name's Tom Garrett. I'm the international sales manager for Trinov. Been with the company now, as I've mentioned, for nine years. And India is to a point my second home. That's where the, all the Hindi comes from. It's combined with having lots of Indian friends from university. So I was lucky enough to go to, to university with an Indian friend and she now lives here in Bandra. Wow. So it's lovely to catch up with old family friends. So as a result, I've learned some Hindi, some Punjabi. Naturally, you learn the rude words first, but... Everybody learns that first way in India. Of course we do. But thank you for having me here. And thanks for actually, you know, conducting this lovely session on Trinov. I think a yeah, very nice eye opener on this new product range. So do you have anything to talk about Altitude CI first? So Altitude CI is a brand new product from Trinov. We've taken this opportunity to effectively start with a clean sheet of paper. We've looked at the product and said, what do we need in an AV processor for our key market, which is home theatres, home cinemas, absolutely. So what we've done is it's a completely new motherboard architecture processing. It's still Intel based, which means it's got vast amounts of processing power, but we've added a new board inside it, which is called the TAC2, stands for Trinov Audio Core. It's our second generation board. That board is being currently used in our Nova, which is our studio product. So it's a familiar product to us. It's a familiar architecture. But for the home cinema market, it needs a little bit more processing power, which is why we've augmented it with the Intel CPU. In terms of platform, well, it's a more compact unit. Sonically, it doesn't alter from its big brother, the Altitude 16 and the Altitude 32. It just changes in the way it outputs audio. If you're doing a simple room-friendly cinema, such as 7.1, 5.1.2, so Dolby Atmos or dual subs, then you can use traditional analog outputs. This will deliver eight outputs over DB25, which is a balanced XLR connection in a more compact form. The minute you go above eight channels, then you're into the realms of AES digital audio and or Dante audio over IP or Ravana or AES67. So it covers the three major forms of audio over IP, digital audio and analog, and you can do all three different outputs at the same time. So if it's an existing customer who's got some analog subwoofers that he wants to keep or they want to keep, then you can use those on the analog out. If they're buying a new amplifier, which is high power, maybe Dante enabled, that will do your left, right, center. And then if you've got some Genelex or something like that from an old studio setup, you can use the digital AES out to do the Genelux. So it goes three ways at the same time, which is really quite important. Processing power wise, it's no different to any existing Trinov processor. It's got the same digital to analog converters, has the Altitude 16 and the Altitude 32. What it does have is a completely redesigned user experience. So the software has been started again from the start and is the layers have been just added. It's just a little bit easier to use. It's a little bit quicker to set up. We've hidden some of the more complex stuff, which confused people. We just made it easier. Is there simple as I thought? I just like to, uh take away one thing which you, while you're just talking about the product, you emphasized on Trinov processor. Yeah. So what do you think makes Trinov one of the most aspirational home cinema brand in the uh, world? Well, not we, just for the customers, but even for the we, installers. We do things differently. Okay. And what is that differently? The difference is we create our own products. And let me explain by this. This is quite an important factor. Other manufacturers, I'm not going to mention any names. Yeah. They assemble processors from lots of components which they don't design. They're DSPs from some companies. They yeah, just from different companies. So they assemble products. And I must say, they some of them do a very good job of it. 
But when you're not in control over the total recipe, you can't deliver the best. It's like when you go to your mum's house and she's making rajma. She will have her own special recipe, which she won't share with anybody because it makes her unique. She may add a bit of um, hing, she may add a bit of denya, you know, salt or peppers, just something to make it different. But what we do at Trinov, we control the recipe from ground up. We control the processing, the decoding, the room correction. We add our own technologies on top of that. And to make it even better, we had a five-year warranty and our products are so powerful. Just to give you an idea, if you look at the Trinov website, yeah. you'll see an article we wrote and it's all about CPU power versus DSP. So before I joined Trinov, I was one of their distributors. So I was effectively the same as Rajdeep and Gurpreet. And these are altitude 32 units, like this one here, which are over 10 years old. So in the 10 years that product's been out in the market, we've updated the CPU to current technologies as increased. If we take the first altitude on sale from 10 years ago, the CPU is still more powerful by a factor of 10 times greater than any DSP in any AV processor on the market. Well, so the fact we choose an Intel CPU gives us so much more computational power, number crunching, to give better audio results, which gives you better immersive audio, which gives you a better cinema experience. Absolutely. So that's where we're different. So as you rightly said that, you know, you control the entire recipe because everything is in your hands. Okay. It's on your own produce. Now, as a company, you know, when you have to take care of, let's say your room optimizer, or you have to take care of your waveforming technology, or you have to take care of, you know, manufacturing this entire cabinet, right from sourcing the metal part to the connectors. Absolutely. Plus you have to, uh, associate with Dante's and the EES, yeah, you know, all of these technologies. And then lastly, the entire user interface, as you said. Hmm. As a company, where do you see Trino is heading to? Like, uh, is it well, more of a hardware company still, or is it more of well, a. Well, let's, uh, let's address. I see you're an IT company. Trino, we see ourselves as a software company. Exactly. I've been with Trino, as I said, nine years. I've seen them go from 12 people to over 70 strong now. We operate a team in the US, we operate a team out of the UK, a team in Paris and also Taiwan. So we operate in different countries around the world. But the one thing that's unique about Trinov is we are still very strong in research and development in terms of both creating technologies, then software developers are all in-house. I think it's about 25 strong out of our 70 people. And that's not including our R&D team. We've got some crazy people, crazy intelligent people with PhD, doctorates, heading up our R&D. They create, come up with concepts and ideas, which takes us to an absolutely another level. And this is only achievable by controlling everything we do. So where is Trinov heading? We're still a software company. We still make hardware to put our software in. That's how we inter interpret it. This is going to be the start of a new generation or a new generation of products. We're not discontinuing the 16 and the 32 because they are still an analog processor, totally different architecture. But where are we going to go? There's going to be a 64 channel version of that. Yeah. That's an interesting thing. So five years ago, I was in Australia with the team from Crix, the loudspeaker yeah. manufacturers at the Melbourne Hi-Fi show. And we launched a product called the Altitude Extension, which took that box up to 64 channels. Wow. We thought we would never sell many. We sell rather a lot of them. So there is a demand for high channel count immersive audio systems. This product will obviously go up to 64 channels. So it's a modular design, right? So what happens is when you buy this product, yeah. it comes with eight channels enabled. Up to 32 channels, you're buying just as license. You're buying software licenses which do which increase into at a time. So unless you're going to, you know, you don't need to buy eight channels of which you're only using some of them. You buy precisely what you need, Me. which is really cost effective. Absolutely. Once you get to 32 channels, then the Dante board runs out of capacity. Then we go to a bigger internal component tree, which is a bigger Dante board, slightly bigger CPU, and that's the 64 channel variant. You can update one to the other, or if you're buying one from Start, you just go for the 64 channels. But 
We expect a reasonable amount, and believe it or not, in India, I think there's five or six 64 channel cinemas already. Wow. Which is a surprising amount of products. It's a huge market here in India. You love your film. We're here in, you know, sort of in, in, in you know, but so many industries. Bollywood is there. We have got Tollywood, exactly. which are very, very huge. Yeah. India's still got the biggest cinema market in the whole of the world. So that for me is crazy. Any other questions so I can help you with? Yeah, absolutely. So I just have uh, one more question. So uh, as we spoke about the entire recipe being controlled by Trinov, huh? when we look at the, now you can't take names, but I certainly can. So I would take that liberty out here. Uh, what's so special about the Trinov mic, which is the 3D mic, compared to the other mics, let's say an SDEC or a, a UMIC or whatever else well, are available? The biggest thing, I wish I had one to my hand, which is really important next time. So the microphone can measure incredibly accurate, accurately, even though it's reasonably priced. And I've got to say that with a little bit of tongue in cheek, it is still a lot of money, but it's still reasonably priced. It can measure distance to plus or minus one centimeter. It can measure elevation and azimuth to point, so to plus or minus one degree. It can measure sound to point naught one decibel plus or minus. That's a level of accuracy not achievable unless you've got something like a Snell and Wilcox proper microphone, which would be upwards five, six to $10,000. So what we do at Trinov is we've engineered our microphone to be hyper accurate. Okay. And it can do a number of elements. It can, as I said, measure position. It can measure other things when used in combination with optimizer. So only by controlling the signal from source to playback can you deliver the best audio performance. And from Trinoff's perspective, we don't just work in home cinema. This is the important thing. Other brands exist, and I'm not going to mention them, but in Trinoff, you can record in your recording studio. You can mix in your mixing studio from, up, you can up mix or down mix. Then you can go into your commercial cinema, and there's plenty here in India with a product called the Ovation, which is the commercial cinema variant of this. You can have this in altitude in your home cinema, or you can have a Amethyst, which is a hi-fi product. We're the only manufacturer that does what I call cradle to the grave or source to the end. And it's the same technology. It's optimizer. It's the same technology from start to finish. That's what makes us different. So I, I won't take much of your time. Just one last question. Well, our discussion has just got me uh, highlighted to one topic about getting into a digital uh, audio versus an analog, you know, the, the transition. So one thing is definitely that you get low latency when you move to a digital source. But what are the other benefits? Is it that you can get to control the entire house wiring in a much more better way? Or what are the other things that you see as a benefit to... So the, be the benefit of going down the audio over IP route is simplicity. A lot of dealers struggle with cable management. When you've got a rack, exactly. you've got five, six amplifiers. It looks like a rat's nest. Absolute. All you've got to do is go to a lamppost here in India and you see some of the most beautiful examples of telephone wiring. I mean, India is spectacular for that. And I mean that with a little bit of love as well, by the way. But that's not acceptable in people's houses. So by going down audio over IP, you can use a single RJ45, Cat5, Cat6 out of the altitude into your router or switch and then into your power amps. If you're doing a small and more compact system, then you can use a Trinov Direct Connect, which is direct between amplifier and processor. It's just a very flexible product. And as I said, we expect this product now to have a similar life cycle to the Altitude 32. There's a 10 plus years. You show me any other manufacturer that makes an AV processor that is over 10 years old, that's still winning awards, still considered the flagship in its class. And still technologically updated. And that's exactly where we see ourselves. Good. I think, fantastic. I wish you all the best for your product and for the business in India as well. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. Appreciate it. Thank you.